yeah, bam it again. I was like, knock it up another knock. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Hope you're all super well. I've woken up maybe half an hour ago. I've got a mentor session now. We're going to be discussing some new opportunities that he may have in Spain, but we're also going to be looking at the opportunities that have been presented to me over the last couple of days. So, should be an interesting chat. I'll gain more insight to what he thinks about those different opportunities, which always helps me not necessarily decide the best option, but it changes my perceptions on things. So, I'm looking forward to it. Let's crack on with that. I'll catch you guys after. Okay, it's a bit later in the day I haven't picked up the camera because I've been hard at work trying to figure out what I'm doing so my mentor said that there's a possibility that I can go to the club that he kind of runs and train with the under 19s obviously I would be under 20s this year so that they would all be like a year or two younger than me but I think that could be a very good experience because it's Spanish football I'm sure they're very good players and it's coached by my mentor which could be amazing as well as that my mentor has also said that there's a possibility I could go and play in his team, which is... Uh, it's basically... This is how I explain it. So there's four levels at the top of the Spanish system. They're all national. You have La Liga, Sequanda A, Sequanda B, and then some national level. And then below that is the Barcelona level, the Catalan, I think it's called. So you have Div 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they're all... They're like state league, really. And my mentor's team plays in the fourth division, and that's the reserve team, but the first team plays in the third division. As well as that, there may be a possibility that when I train with the under-19s, the second team of the club sees me and goes, we want this guy to train with the second team. So there's an opportunity there. I've been looking all day to try and figure out where there's cheap accommodation for me to stay. It's pretty difficult, it's kind of expensive. It's about 800 euros a month, which is, I think it was, 800 euros is 1,200 Australian dollars. That's just for rent, then I've got to pay for food, all these different things, and yeah, it, it could be pretty expensive. But that's kind of the cost of football. That could be good. Spanish football, I'm not complaining. And like, <laughs> when my mentor said that I could play with him, I just couldn't stop laughing because I never imagined that I would play with him. It's... <laughs> oh, he said... <laughs> oh, that would just be hilarious. He's a very good player, though. I've, I've never seen him play, but from what he's told me, he's talked himself up. And maybe you guys will get to meet him. It depends whether he wants to be on camera or not. Anyway, I'm feeling a bit better today. It's not the best weather outside, but I am going to head down to the park and get a session in. Tomorrow, I may have a game with the reserve team for Plymouth Parkway. If not, I'm going to do a very intense session because I think I'll be recovered by them from this sickness. But for now, I'm going to go down to the park. I have a session. I need to get out. This stuff is exhausting. Man, I've been chipping away at that juggling over the post. And I managed to get 20 on the dot, which is my target for every day. I'm going to get back out there. I want to get more. I'm hungry for more. It's going good. I'm getting some nice touches. Also, another random free kick that I just decided to try today. I just, I just killed it. The top spin on it was ridiculous. So next session, I might have to get some of those because they were fire. That's me done for today. And don't worry, I remember my promise to you guys. I need to do a core workout. I'm going to do that later on. I've got to cook dinner tonight. So it's probably going to be a nighttime core workout. And I'm just going to do the same one as last time. Because none of you guys left comments. <laughs> Sad life. I'm on my way home now. Going to have a shower when I get back. Refresh up. Have my tablets. Chill out. And then cook the dinner. For some reason my legs just are dead. I think it must have been from that bike ride to the gym yesterday. Definitely... I don't think I'm ever going to do that again. I think I'm just going to catch the bus. Otherwise, it's going to be too hard for me. I'm going to see more benefits in not going to the gym rather than going. So if I catch the bus, it makes everything a lot easier. Sure, I pay a couple pounds for it, but it's not the end of the world. So I think that's a plan for the gym in the future, especially if I'm doing leg day. Man, if I'm doing leg day and I had to cycle home, I think... No. My core is absolutely killing from the session two days ago that I did. I'd love to have more days to recover, but this is the grind. This is where I got to put in, get my core good. I've been receiving feedback. I need to be stronger. So we're doing core work. It seems that football isn't just about playing with a ball after all. You need to do other stuff as well, like the gym, the core. Core especially, because that's all about balance. And, and I want to get into some cool exercises with core pretty soon. I've shown you guys a video of LeBron James balancing on a physio ball. Oh, 
one day in the gym, I'll go and do that. It's going to be sick because that's really about balance and that's a professional athlete. Even though it's basketball, you can see the similarities of being pushed off the ball, that sort of stuff. So I'm going to do that. One day, I'll get there, I'll get there, I'll get stronger. Anyway, let's get into it. Just about 12 minutes of core work there. I'm absolutely buggered from that. That was solid though. I did pretty much the same. I think I might have added a set on that last exercise, but if I can get that twice a day, I'm going to get stronger. I'm going to increase the reps. I'm just going to be a better player, I think. So thank you very much to you. I think it was Super Samuel off the top of my head who recommended for me to do it every second day of this journey. You forced me to do this. It's my promise to you. Every second day we get the core work done. The stuff we don't want to do, we just go out and do it. Anyway, as I always say, the most satisfying thing to do after a workout, go and have a shower. It's refreshing. Especially after a tough workout like that, I need it. So I'm gonna go do that. Before I do that though, I know what you're thinking. Sheldon, did you even work out if you didn't have a protein shake? Don't worry, I'm already ahead of the game. We're already doing it, man. It's not a workout without a protein shake. Anyway, that is going to conclude today's video. I'm still not feeling 100%. Depending on how I feel tomorrow, I'll decide what I do, but this weekend, no matter what, I'm doing leg day with a fitness session, my football sprints. It's gonna be a tough one, but I need to get it done, and I accept that. I want to push myself to get better, especially over here. And I'm reading all of your comments. You guys are saying I need to get bigger if I'm going to make it anywhere really, Germany, not so much Spain, but US, in England, wherever I may go, except for really Spain, I need to get bigger and that's what I'm doing. I started that off yesterday by going to the gym, doing an upper body session, now I need to do legs, I'll do my back later in the week. I'm looking forward to it, I thank you guys so much for pushing me to go to the gym. All your advice is so helpful, I always read the comments and I'm I just can't say how grateful I am. So thank you for all the tips. Look forward to seeing more of them. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, join the journey, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Listen.